This is my backyard. I'm actually chilling by the fire. I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, it's my fireplace. Chilling by the fire. Don't know what to do. My friend Lena Soul had a baby today, or yesterday. I'm so proud of her. She had a baby. Man, that's awesome. I miss all my friends, actually. It's amazing that people in relationships actually go and you get drift apart, actually, from just hanging out and having parties and stuff like that. It's crazy. And we got stars up here. I don't know if you can see the stars, but back down to my fireplace. Yeah, I'm a filmmaker. Yes, I am I'm a filmmaker. And um, I try to make a film, Thorns from a Rose. I got screwed over by everyone that was with me on the film. And uh, it's just me and myself right now. Thorns from a Rose will be done. And uh, Debo, Tiny Lister, screwed me over really bad. He took my money and ran. A millionaire took money from me, from me. A person that basically works for a living. And uh, how would I say, got my son through, got my son in college actually. And uh, Basically, the contract was to basically, hey, Thorns from a Rose, we can help you get financing. We can use our actor, Tiny Lister, Debo. Everyone knows him as Debo. And uh, I get screwed out of it. Ten grand. Ten grand of my money that I had to get from myself and uh, a friend of mine. I have a very, very, very close friend of mine named Lena So, who just had a baby tonight. And it pains me. It really does. It pains me. Yeah, I have, to pay, I have to post this on YouTube. I really do. Because of the fact that, you know, I'm a blue collar guy. I'm not a millionaire. I try to produce a film that I wrote. And I get taken advantage of by a millionaire. And uh, there's a lot of promises in the contracts and all that stuff like that that basically fucked me in my ass. Plain and simple. And I know Tiny has 10 grand to give me back so I can give to everyone else, including Nina and my father. But. He's a millionaire, just like all the other millionaires, like Romney and Donald Trump and whoever else takes advantage of us, people who are trying to move up in the world, um, we get fucked over. And, uh, this is basically, I, I, I honestly wish someone would give me $10,000 so I can move on with my life. I really do. So, um, hey, Debo, Debo, you're looking at a person that trusted in you, tiny, and uh, believed in you. In church, you took me to church and you took my $10,000. And uh, basically, all I can say is, is that. You got it coming to you, brother. Karma's a bitch. I hope you deal with it when the devil sticks his pitchfork up your ass. I'm sorry. You have a beautiful wife, a beautiful daughter. And uh, I have to say that I helped pay for that. But you know what? You got your demons you got to deal with, brother. And uh, just... Come clean, bro. Just come clean. Come clean with me. Come clean with your wife. Come clean with everybody. 
That's all I gotta say. I'm not trying to be evil or anything like that, but you took my money, bro. You took my money. And, uh, it's bullshit. That's what I think. But guess what? You haven't taken my spirit. You haven't taken my drive. My film will make it one day. Even if I'm 80 years old, I still got my son. He's going to take the legacy to the next level, bro. What do you got? And like I said, hey, I work hard for a living, bro. I don't get free money. I wish somebody would give me free $10,000. Just like I gave you $10,000 to help create a film. But you didn't do shit, bro. You didn't do nothing. I see on your little commercials with Ice Cube, and Coors Light, and all the fucking music videos. The Friday, the new Friday that if it ever comes to next, if you're not in jail for fucking people over for your mortgage fraud. Hey, I wish you the best, man. But I have to say this one thing. I paid for your and my friend's dinners when we hung out. When you said, hey, yeah, I will do your film for you and help you raise financing for your film. And you tried, I, dude, you went to an Oliver Stone party with my friend Eric Anderson. And uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's because of me. 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 You fucked me over. Fuck you. It's bullshit. I know some shit. I really do. And, uh, you called me on it. You called my partner on it. I'm not trying to bring it up, but, hey, if I have to use it, I will use it. So, hey, buddy, the card or cards are in your corner. I need my 10 grand. I need my $10,000, buddy. To give back to Lena and my father who believed in you that's it sad to say you know my number call me